When it comes to an emergency, we instinctively think to call 999. But what if you need urgent medical advice, but it's not a life-threatening emergency? It's time to go online at www.111.nhs.uk or call 111. 111 is there when your medical problem is not life-threatening, but you don't know who to call for help. You should call 111 if you think you need to go to A&E, an urgent care centre or another NHS urgent care service. If it's serious, we'll send an ambulance to you. Or if it's safe and appropriate to do so, we may ask you to make your own way to A&E. www.111.nhs.uk allows users to access 111 support digitally in a fast and convenient way and helps to manage increasing demand on 111 telephone services. 24 hours a day, every day of the year, you can call 111 and speak to a trained health advisor who will assess your needs and make sure you get the right treatment or advice. Calls are free from mobile phones and landlines. In most instances though, we'll refer you to a local service, such as your local GP, a pharmacist or a dentist. An appointment may be booked or arranged for you, either over the phone or face-to-face -face for a minor injury. We won't diagnose, but we will assess your needs direct you to the most appropriate care or refer you to a local service and tell you how to get any medicine you need or give self-care advice. When you call 111, a health advisor will ask questions to assess your needs. Some may feel irrelevant to your situation, but will help us understand how quickly we need to get you help, whether you or the person you're calling for needs an ambulance and what the next step should be. Each caller is dealt with on an individual basis using a clinical assessment system to find your needs. The health advisor will adapt their language if a child or someone with communication difficulties is calling. Our health advisors have access to a range of professionals like nurses, pharmacists, dentists and doctors to use their medical experience to help or give advice. Many health advisors are trained to answer both 999 and 111 calls, giving them experience to manage a wide range of conditions and illnesses. You can call 111 free from a mobile phone or landline anytime or visit www.111.nhs.uk if it's about someone who is aged 5 or over. If you are deaf, hard of hearing or speech impaired, contact 111 using the text or British Sign Language Relay service. If English isn't your first language, ask for an interpreter. For more information, visit www.neas.nhs.uk.